Yeah, Lynn and I made this really tiny movie called Hump Day about two years ago. Um, and we really loved the process. And, and it was very similar to the DNA of this film. It was three characters. It was only a couple of locations. Um, it was made very cheaply for like $12,000. And we shot the, that film in like 10 days. And um, it was just a great creative burst for us. So I called her and I said, look, I have a similar kind of setup for a movie that involves basically three people and can take place on an island. And, and I think, you know, I loved working with you last time. Let's do this again. So I pitched her this initial idea of a guy who's recently lost his brother, has a friendship with a girl. It's dubious. She sends him to her parents' vacation retreat on an island, and there he runs into her mother. Um, and, and Lynn was like, okay, that's good. Maybe the mother is a little too Mrs. Robinson. Maybe we could do a sister instead. And I said, great. Um, and so we, we put it together. And um, you know these movies, I guess they're designed to be shot quickly and, and cheaply. And they're all improvised. We work from an outline. But all the dialogue you see is actually improvised. Um, and we shot the film in like 12 days. We always wanted Emily Blunt for it, but everybody wants Emily Blunt for their movies. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> the, the task is getting her. And she, I think she agreed because she, she loved Hump Day, the movie we had made together. She was looking to be a creative partner on a movie and, and to have that creative authority to be able to explore her character and exact her character the way she wanted to. Um, and again, we shot the movie in under two weeks, so it was a small ask for her time commitment. Um, and then initially, we actually uh, built the movie with Rachel Weiss as a sister, and she had a scheduling conflict. And three days before we started shooting, we brought in uh, Rose to save the day. We have this, this soft preparation that happens for three to five months before we make the movie, which is we all get on the phone, and we talk about the backstories for the characters, and we just create tons and tons of backstory that we can draw from during the improvisation. We also talk about scene ideas that we think could be good, and 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 we imagine what the feel of the movie is. For me, you know, this movie was all about trying to create something with a classic, um, melodramatic uh, movie structure, almost like a soap opera. If you look at the plot points of this film, you know, and but to try to do it uh, in a naturalistic way that felt organic and 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 hopefully more realistic. Um, and and so you know from there we we just uh, we we create this rock solid outline that tells us exactly what the story points are. Um, so we always know we're going from A to B to C to D in a certain scene, but how we get there is up to the actors um, in the moment. And I guess it's our belief for for these very small, very intimate films um, that what we sacrifice in preparation and planning you hope to gain back in electricity and, and, and that moment when lightning can strike on set because no one knows what's going to happen. You know, but I, I, I really like this form of film. And, I, and I, in many ways, you know, not to get too, you know, serious about it, but I, I believe that this form of film is the future of independent filmmaking. And we're seeing these lovely places like Fox Searchlight and Focus Every now and then a movie breaks out, but most of those movies are not doing well. And and this movie was made very cheaply for the, I would say, relatively the cost of you know one day's catering on a movie like The Hunger Games, and and I think it's important that we were able to do exactly what we wanted to do and and explore and 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 that's the key component to this film is we didn't have a great movie in our pockets that we went out to exact. We had the seed of something that might be okay that we went out to explore and find. And we, we were very realistic. We were just as capable of failing as we were to find something. And, and I think that you need that spirit of, of we being willing to try and fail to come up with interesting things. And it, quite frankly, that's just hard to do you know, with a $7 million budget. Um, so I like this form and I wanna continue to evolve it.